what is going on everybody comic books versus the world back at it again with another video this one on an extremely rare phenomena that i just don't think we've ever seen in the world of comic books and especially not on the cw's flash show that being <laughs> continuity errors now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh ready ready <laughs> Okay, yeah, those have actually popped up quite a bit, but this one in particular is a little bit interesting. Mostly because it has some major implications for not just this show, but the entire Arrowverse after the events of the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover. Now, if you kept up with some of the CW Flash videos that came out after the show stopped airing, then you may have seen this video, How Not to End a Show, The Flash Season 9, uploaded by G.I. Geo. Speaking of, if you're not a subscriber of his already, even though you totally should be, then I highly recommend checking out his other Flash videos, because they're actually pretty good. And if you do, leave him a comment and tell him I sent you. Anyways, at one point in this video, Geo mentions a continuity error regarding Gorilla City, the home of the super-intelligent gorillas that was located on Earth 2 before eventually getting moved to Earth Prime after Crisis. See, we know the city still exists, since it shows up on Cisco's map back at Star Labs, and it was mentioned a few times since then. I mean, Gorilla City's part of Earth Prime now, don't you want to go myth-busted? But Grodd can still sense changes in this reality. Changes like Gorilla City. Problem is, as confirmed by the villain Red Death in the Season 9 episode, The Mask of the Red Death Part 2, the gorillas on Earth Prime don't actually have the same intelligence that they did back on Earth 2. After your crisis, the gorillas in Gorilla City lost their sentience and were scattered across your lawless world. So, hold on, wait a minute. How exactly can there be a city for super smart gorillas without the super smart gorillas? I mean, is this just an error, a mistake in the timeline, or something else? Well, before we get into all that, be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to leave a comment with suggestions on other videos you might want to see in the future. So anyways, what's the deal with Gorilla City? <laughs> well, the way I see it, there's really only two ways we can look at this. Let's start with option number one. There were super smart gorillas at one point, but they got wiped out in some way, shape, or form. Now, we may not have seen much of Gorilla City in the Arrowverse even before the crisis, but we do know that it should reasonably cause a ton of geopolitical issues, regardless of what Earth it's on. I mean, I think it's a pretty safe bet that world leaders in general wouldn't exactly react well knowing that there's an entire city of highly intelligent and powerful animals roaming around, all of them capable of standing up to metahumans, and also happen to be extremely temperamental. I mean, I don't know about you, but I can see it right now. Every branch of every military flying in the minute somebody even got a tiny bit of intel about these guys even existing. Like I told Flash, always think I... Tactical nuke incoming! <laughs> Even if they somehow lived in peace with humans though, there's always the possibility that an ambitious, grod-like gorilla tried to throw a coup and take over the city, resulting in a bunch of infighting that eventually wiped out the smart population anyway. Hell, it could've even been Grodd himself leading the coup in that case. I mean, we do know he tried to take over Gorilla City before, and since we don't exactly know his entire backstory post-crisis, it's not exactly like it's impossible that a post-crisis Grodd could've tried it again. And as confirmed by Grodd in Season 6, his mind was shielded from all the post-crisis changes, meaning it's also possible he wouldn't remember anything he did earlier in the post-crisis universe anyway. You know about Crisis. Grodd's mind wasn't affected by the merging of the multiverse. And before you say it, yes, Grodd still would have been a bad guy up till this point. I mean, we do see his picture in Cisco's binder earlier in the season, and Chester offhandedly confirmed it at the end of this episode. So do you think Grodd has gone like full hero? Or is this more of like a, like a Captain Cold, former villain turned sort of good guy situation? So wait, is that really it? I mean, after all the hype fans had for Gorilla City, all the cool possibilities for this super smart gorilla society, and all we get is a reverse Planet of the Apes type situation where the stupid local gorillas start claiming squatters rights? Oh, that sucks. Well, no, not really. Honestly, this theory made a ton of sense at first, but it kind of falls apart the more you actually start thinking about it. For one thing, you think somebody would have mentioned something if an entire population of smart gorillas was just wiped out, right? I mean, Team Flash literally had a guy go on a worldwide tour cataloging all the post-crisis changes on Earth Prime just a few seasons before, or Argus could have done it since they specifically let Grodd free to go back home after he helped Barry in the 13th episode that season. Lila had Argus in bed attracting Polymer and his cerebellum, and she agreed to let him out on probation as long as we know where he is at all times. Or hell, even Barry himself could have mentioned it. 
I know he usually gets ragged on for not exactly being the brightest sometimes, but he did have a list of different post-crisis changes thanks to Gideon. In the meantime, I wouldn't mind knowing everything that crisis changed. I've calculated approximately 3.725 trillion changes. And on top of all of that, Red Death herself confirmed that the gorillas still existed, they just weren't all that smart anymore. The gorillas in Gorilla City lost their sentience. So, okay fine, no apes were harmed in the making of this new universe. Cool. So I guess that means we can file this away under option two. Crisis shenanigans. I mean, we do know that different aspects of a few different worlds were merged together to make Earth Prime during the crisis, so what if a version of Gorilla City got ported over, but not necessarily the one we're familiar with? Or what if the version of Gorilla City we did know got ported over, but just not the gorillas? Yeah, this one feels like a bit of a cop-out, since you could just hand wave away all the continuity problems by saying Crisis did it. But then again, it's not like the writers themselves didn't literally build it into the show, with things like Harry's message about his returning intelligence from the pre-crisis days still hanging around in Cisco's workshop. But anyways, that's my guess on what all happened to Gorilla City in Season 9 of The Flash. That some kind of crisis shenanigans managed to bring over Gorilla City to the new Earth Prime, just without the super smart gorillas. Kinda sucks for those guys, but hey, what are you gonna do? But anyways, if you agreed with anything I said in this video, or if you had your own thoughts you want to throw out there, then go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. And as always, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one. I'm trying to get back into doing YouTube more often, so this would definitely help me out a ton. And with that, I will see you all next time. Thank you.